What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol APPS for Digital Turbine Inc. On the left hand side, we have the daily time frame, and on the right hand side, the 30 minute intraday time frame. First things first, I need to let you know that they gave us an earnings announcement after the bell today. So let's flip on the extended hour session and see what's going on with the number. So, my goodness, before we really zoomed in, I'm sure you could see that red candle, uh, and now it's really obvious. So, for the sake of today's video, we will assume that we're opening on some sort of gap down, but remember, a lot can change between now and 930 when the bell actually rings. So what we want to know, of course, is where's the overnight low and where's the anticipated open? Okay, those are the two numbers that we're really concerned with. Let's go ahead and turn this back off, flip over to the daily time frame chart now to talk in terms of scenarios. Okay, that's always what we need to be thinking about whenever we're dealing with either an earnings gap, a news catalyst gap, could be any type of gap. There's really two things that we need to be thinking about. So number one is, of course, the gap and trap. Now, this looks like this. If we open here, fail to take out the overnight low, trade back higher through the open, you're looking for a filling of the gap, essentially overhead, so along there, to take us into today's low of day, therefore trapping anyone who essentially thought it was short based on the fact that it was gapping down, right? You don't just chase the gap based on the direction of the gap without a structural plan in play. So that's what we're looking for to the upside if it wants to unfold that way. The flip side of this coin, scenario number two, of course, would be if we open here, trade and put in some sort of bearish pattern at the overnight low, could be a bear flag like that, could look something like this. So descending wedge, just lower highs leading to lower, or excuse me, flat lows. A breakdown of this here, the overnight low, is going to put us right at a known area of support. So $80, if I scrunch up the daily chart here, is a significant area to pay attention to. You can see it was a prior pivot high from in here. You can see we got a little bit of resistance, and we are yet to test it as support on the back test. So please be careful at and around this overnight low area. The conservative trader would wait for a firmer breakdown of $80 for a short short to take us into the next obvious daily uh, area of support. And you could make the argument that it would be this, the prior high in here, close to 76, we'll call it, for round numbers sake. So can you actually tra uh, trade this to the downside? The answer is yes. Easy to borrow stock, so you can short the shares. And we have a decent options chain here on the put side of things. Not the best volume, especially the at the money strikes where we get that sort of 50 cent delta. Um, but you know, some of these strikes are not bad. Again, you're going kind of far out here. But look at the volume that's there is kind of what I'm illustrating. And I would imagine if the move is lower, the volume will pick up for tomorrow's session as well. So overall, downside is playable here inside of apps, digital turbine, and you have the framework to decipher the move tomorrow morning, whether it be up or down. So keep in mind the two scenarios we talked about, either the gap and trap for something like this, or the gap and go for something that looks like this to take us into 76. Monitor for continuation in both cases if we come into those targets, right? It could potentially go higher and it could potentially go lower from here if we get there on solid volume solid momentum as well. That's going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it or learned anything new today, let me know in the comments section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.